so our repo sync has completed and we uh, we already of course on this machine had downloaded all of our um, building tools and that sort of thing so other than our vendor files we are um, ready to build so let's take a look if we do our uh, dos build environment setup shell of course it runs here and we do our launch command. What we're going to be building for today is um, actually the uh, JS LTE TMO T-Mobile version of the Samsung Galaxy S4. This is a phone that I built for um, predominantly when I first started uh, building Android. And so here you can see it's listed number uh, 54, lots of different options. Notice that SlimRomp really has uh, put together quite a quite a array of different phones and things to go for. You can always look through and make sure that if anything's available. So we type in that number, we hit that enter key, and now it's starting to um, sync some more repositories. It's downloading some more information that's gonna be used for building. So what exactly is it downloading? Well, remember in that hidden repo folder that's inside of our SlimRom Polypop folder, we see this other folder called Local Manifest. And if we look in Local Manifest, we'll see this Slim Manifest XML. And let's open that with uh, gedit. Just a second here while it pops up. There we go. So what we see here is it's added these repositories called projects to our local manifest file. And so we can see it's going on GitHub and it's going to get SlimRom's device, JFLTE TMO, Ducomp Common, Hardware Samsung. It's going to get this kernel right here from CyanogenMod. Mod. Notice that that's different than SlimRom but that it's going out and it's getting this material and it's bringing it to your machine. So it's essentially going and getting all of that stuff that, uh, that we would need. That's pretty handy. Um, you can actually write anything you want into a local manifest and sync that repository and get all the files that you need for building as well. Um, it's really easy if you look at this format here to see how that uh, how that's set up. Now, if we open the manifest file, right, the manifest file itself for all of SlimROM, that it lists several remotes, like we have AOSP, we have GitHub, um, we have the different revision tags. And notice that this here, remote GitHub, can be specified as long as it's something that's in the manifest file itself. So we'll grab these and the vendor files and then we'll get started building.